It was a popular hangout spot for ASU students, and now you can own a little piece of history. Or a lot of pieces, yeah. right? Uh, we're talking about Minder Binder, several pieces being auctioned off this weekend. So Lena is at EJ's auction with a look at all this stuff that you could own. Good morning. Good morning, because Scott, you have room for this, don't you? Uh, and maybe you do, maybe you don't, but either way, you probably remember this if you ever spend time at Minder Binder, or maybe you don't. A lot of good times there, but some of them have long been forgotten. So Mike here, you guys are doing a refurbish, if you will. So you kept some of the pieces that you liked, the ones that didn't quite work, uh, you, you're selling here, and then you guys are planning to open in about a month. So give us an idea about what it's gonna look like. Uh, it's going to be the similar building. Um, we're just kind of cleaning it up. Uh, we're keeping the items that kind of make sense for uh, for us. And uh, yeah, just giving it a little bit of a fresh feel. Yes. So we look forward to that in about a month. And of course, you're always looking for feedback on how you guys are doing there. So let's talk about the pieces that are now here. So if you miss Minder Binder, you can take a piece home with you. So Eric is here with EJ's Auction. And there are some, can I say, unique pieces. Very unique. It's quirky, wacky, eclectic. Maj Paj, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's everything that we remember. Now, you were saying that it's it was difficult. If you remember, things were hanging from the ceilings. Things were really cramped up in there. And so you guys uh, went through the hours-long process of getting everything down. Nine days, yeah. It was incredible, the amount of stuff. And you'd pull one piece down, and there'd be three more in, up above it wow. that you didn't know were there. So tell me, you were telling me you have memories of being there uh, back in the day. When you were taking the pieces down, did they bring back memories for you like they do for people who see them? Oh, yeah. There's per certain parts as I'm walking through and we're pulling stuff down, things would pop in my mind of, yeah. oh, yeah, I remember when... You had long hair. Right? Yes, very long hair, longer than yours. <laughs> See, so those are the kind of memories that come back with these pieces. And the thing is, they really are one of a kind. It's not like you can go to the mall and find something similar. So if you do have your eye on something, you really do have to come out on Saturday. Exactly, you will not find these pieces anywhere else. Yeah. This will be a one of a kind auction. Um, you won't find anything anywhere in the United States that has this wide, wide variety of items. Yeah. So let's talk about this too. What if you're looking around, you're like, ah, I didn't really go to Minder Binder. I don't recognize any of these things. Don't let that keep you from coming the following week because every, this is like a brand new place every single week. Every week. It's a new store every week. Uh, between all the estates that we do, they combine them, whether it's a single collection or multiple collections, yeah. there's something new every week. So this is happening on Saturday. Give me the rundown about what time doors open, how it starts, when it starts. Well, preview for this auction will be this Wednesday, uh, which is tomorrow, mm -hmm. 9 to 5, uh, up until Friday. And then Saturday, the doors open at 9, auctions start at 10, and it's, it's bid high, bid fast, bid often. Uh, it's going to be one of those auctions. We have three auctioneers. Yes. Uh, so we have three rings, multiple items. I think we've got about 1,500 lots on. Lots of excitement. 1,500 chances to go home with something awesome. And again, that's happening this Saturday. We're at EJ's auction. It's over at 59th Avenue and Bell. However, I will say this to you. Do not outbid me. <laughs> okay, we won't get in your way, Lena. Sounds good. Thank you. We'll take a quick break. More Good Morning Arizona coming up.